This is a quick video to explain how to use FTP software or file transfer protocol software to edit websites. I'm using a test site today, um, slanter.com slash edit via FTP. It's a folder and there's nothing on the page as you can see. So FTP software um, just is a way to connect to a server remotely. Uh, it looks something like this. Um, there's a variety of them out there, many free, some paid. Uh, this one is called Transmit. It is a paid FTP app. Uh, I'm using it on an Apple computer. Um, so the basics of FTP. You usually have a server that you're trying to connect to. Uh, you have some sort of username and some sort of password. Uh, and on a basic level, that will get you into most websites. Uh, when you connect using that authentication, you'll see a list of either domains for a server or more likely just a list of files um, that actually uh, are part of a website. So going back to my, uh, my web browser, I'm looking for a folder called Edit via FTP. And here it is in my file transfer protocol software. When I click on it, I see a single file called index.html. Some FTP sites will allow you to edit directly within them, transmit being one of them. When I double click on this index file, I see a blank file. I can enter text here save and it will save back to the server and then when I refresh in my web browser there's the information. Of course the nice part of editing within the FTP program is that your changes are instant. There's no download and upload. The downside is if you make a mistake then that goes onto the website and there is typically no way to undo what you've done. To figure out if you can edit within your FTP program go ahead and look at the preferences and somewhere in there uh, there may be something that explains edit or edit in an external editor um, for PC the ones that I use um, will open in notepad and you can make some changes there so if you're looking to get started with an FTP program because you want to access uh, files on a web server here are a couple of recommendations for PC uh, there is coffeecup.com slash free dash FTP. Um, it does one thing and it does it well. It's simple, it's free, it's virus free. Another popular one uh, is FileZilla, FileZilla-project.org. Uh, it's free FTP solution um, and it uh, is lightweight and works well. For Mac specifically, Cyberduck.ch has been around forever. Um, they also make a Windows version. Uh, it's pretty popular. They've got some features for connecting to different types of web-based storage here. The one that I mentioned uh, and demonstrated in this video is made by a company called Panic. It's Transmit uh, by name. I believe they're on version 4. Um, it's uh, rock solid and um, it's the one that I typically use. So thanks for watching and good luck with editing.